Hey everybody! Hello, hello, hello! Come on in! Gosh, it seems kind of dark in here, although I got my light on. I guess we'll just have to make do with that, huh? Come on in and say hello. I know it's been a while. I know it's been a while. I haven't been coming on every Monday. But I'm here tonight, so I want to welcome everybody. Come on in and say hello, hello. It's been a really eye-opening day for me. Just been a lot of fun. Um, I'm letting go of some things that i am you know, been worried about. Not really worried. I'm, yeah, I'm kind of a worrier. And, you know, I woke this morning. Hello, everybody. So, um, all of a sudden, I woke up this morning and the message was pretty clear. Like, you know, just stop worrying about things and let things play out the way they're meant to. Just go about your business. Just go about your business. Hello, Selena. Hello. Hey, I posted, uh, I shared one of my TikTok videos on this page. I hope you guys saw it. It was so awesome, this session that I had this morning. Hello, hello. I'm awesome. I'm just awesome. It has been a while. Thank you. Yeah, um, I did another video. I have a lot of drafts. I do a lot of videos all at once and I keep them in my drafts. I was out dancing in the rain here in Prescott coming down pretty good and I was like I'm going outside and I'm dancing in the rain so I thought ah, oh, I'll just leave my hair curly and just put my new hat that I got in Albuquerque New Mexico I went um, to New Mexico with my dear friend May and I met up with my TikTok creator friend psychic Samantha Marie so excited to meet each other in person. We do a lot of co-lives on uh, TikTok. So um, maybe some of y'all follow me there. Follow her. Lisa. And, oh, what's this with the anniversary followers? How fun is that? Dancing in the rain is very healing. Lisa is due to have a baby any day now. It is a boy that, yes, I predicted, although I don't predict babies. And, oh, thank you, Brittany. Thank you for the lovely stars. Um, and I'm the godmother. I'm so freaking excited. But he's been taking his damn sweet time um, coming out. So I can't wait to meet him, though. I mean, she's in California. I don't know what these things are. Milestone follower, anniversary follower. I don't know what all that means. Oh, they're going to induce you tomorrow? Okay. Okay, I really thought he was, I had a date picked out, but he must have just changed his mind. Like, I'm not going to do that. Anyway, so welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, let me share something really quick because I did. I posted the video on my Facebook business page. So I had a client this morning and I always ask, how did you find me? How did you find me? Um... Oh, Regina, I would never profess to, to talk about when somebody's going to cross over. Somebody's going to cross over when it's their time. That is between him and God. I'm certainly not going to even touch that. But I will send you love and hugs, okay? Okay? Um, okay, so, um, and, a, and a lot of love, okay? Um, okay, okay. I don't know what that is. I'm just going to let that go. Okay. Um, it says activate a stars party. I, this new stuff, I don't even know. Anyway, so I said, how did you find me? And she said, um, well, I was at a, a live psychic event. We're not going to say who the person was because that's rude. Um and she said I was there uh, at this live psychic event and a woman behind me tapped me on the shoulder and said, um, oh, I, uh, I, there's a psychic medium named Pam Sears. I had a session with her. You really should make contact with her. You really should follow her. Um, OMG. And it was like all of a sudden she, she started following me on TikTok. I gave her a few shout out messages, I guess. 
booked a session with me. You never know how the universe is going to do its thing, okay? So a lot, most of you did meet me on TikTok, so I don't know what this thing is. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what that is. Anyway, leave that alone. Um, so welcome, 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 everybody. I know it's been a while, so I'm glad that you're here. A lot of you have found me on TikTok. I want everyone to make sure that you follow me on YouTube, okay? On YouTube. Um, I'm going to start doing more and more YouTube sessions. Welcome, everybody. Look at some of the people I haven't seen for a while. Um, so I'm going to start doing more YouTube lives. And, of course, there's usually less people on YouTube and Instagram compared to TikTok. Okay, so, and I want everyone who follows me on YouTube, if you don't follow me yet, please follow me, Pam Sears. Um, I'm, all, I'm getting close to the amount of watch hours I need to switch me into some new algorithm. Um, on my, tick, on my um, YouTube, I usually go live on Wednesdays between 5 and 6 between five and six and thank you guys for those stars i really appreciate that um i i learned a lot about no i learned some about the stars i think it's similar to tiktok things i don't know so i go live on wednesdays but i'm going to add another day and i'm not sure exactly when <coughs> i'm doing fabulous thank you for asking so yeah we had a, a huge storm here today it looks like we're going to be getting another one uh, possibly flash flooding through Wednesday. So I may not be going to my uh, volunteer park ranger gig because there are washes that I have to drive through to get there. And if it's flooding, nope, no can do. Uh, well, then, you know what? I Let me tell you this. Everyone who's been having a stressful Monday, when I did my prayers before I came on, um, I asked for the... Um, healing energy to flood the entire live it is available it is here for you soak it up allow it okay um and it, i think that the healing energy is always available because <clears throat> that's kind of how i set my intent so i want to welcome everybody uh holla thank you for that holla we have a session coming up pretty excited about that um, Hala's been sending me some beautiful, Hala's been sending me some beautiful things, and this was one of the ones that she sent me, the Sacred Rebels Oracle. Isn't that pretty? She sent me another background, but I just changed it back. I just put the mermaid up, but, so Hala, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> so I am going to pull a couple of cards, uh, once I clear the energy, and I think I'm going to use this beautiful deck that she sent me. <clears throat> dry throat from the allergies thank you guys for the stars so appreciated okay if you are new welcome welcome i am going to clear the energy right now tell me where you're from as well as where do you feel this in the body i've had a few people say well, I don't feel anything. You don't have to feel anything in your body. It doesn't mean it. Just sometimes there are certain areas in the body where you need it, okay? Uh, if you read me on... Oh, hang on a minute. If you read me on September last year, can I schedule another reading? Um, sure. I, I try to tell people, please don't book... I, I won't do any sessions uh, unless it's been at least six months. Um, th nothing's going to change. You don't need to have all of these back-to-back -back sessions. So if it's been about six months or over, sure. Sure. All right, here we go. I am... Uh, uh, doo -doo. Guys, this is a weird... I don't, doo -doo 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 -doo. First time catching me. Um, I don't like the out the, the news feed of Facebook. So if you guys sent me something and I didn't answer, 
do you do scheduled readings as well yeah i do scheduled readings i'm doing i'm doing a lot of pr uh, private one-on-one -on -one sessions um i do that uh, i'm i'm booking into august right now um that's private one-on-one -on -one. i'm doing a lot of lives on tiktok a lot of free free lives a lot of free lives on youtube a lot of free lives on instagram if you're going to follow me on instagram you have to request to follow i have way too many fakes so i made it private also um i have like 40 fakes on uh tiktok so you guys i will never send you a message i will never direct send you a message there's a scammers that are even here on facebook after the fact they can send you messages saying oh beloved i have a message for you paul is also in the house paul's gonna be a daddy tomorrow him and lisa let's all put prayers out that baby won't be stubborn and cooperates for Paul and Lisa, let's put some prayers out. Of course, I'm praying because I'm the godmother. <laughs> it is a nice change to not have as many people, okay? All right, so here we go. I'm in northern Arizona temporarily. I don't know where I belong. So until then, I'm here. Here we go. Tell me where you feel it and where you're from. Instagram is Pam Sears underscore psychic medium. Pam Sears underscore psychic medium. I always feel it in my heart. Always, always. And for those of you who don't follow me yet on TikTok, I just celebrated 200,000 followers I'm blessed and thankful from everywhere look at that everywhere welcome still going all right y'all um let me do this really quick if one of my mods want to put in Ziggy's uh, website, it's intuitiveenergy.ca. My lovely Jeff Lauren on Facebook, is also known as Ziggy Booten, asked if he could put me on my mug on a mug. My mug on a mug. I was like, I don't have time for merch, but if you want to, go for it. So here I am, the queen with my crown. And the other side is my crown. So this is a big mug. And look, there's a smaller mug. It's got my name on it. Thank you, Paul. So Ziggy has merchandise with me on it. Okay, I gave him full permission. I don't have time. So what he also did was the first three people that we connected with, it was Ziggy, me and miss ed one okay so he did shirts and both all three of us have our websites on the back so he's got t-shirts he's got some shirts that say no spammy the pammy although paul was the first one to send me a beautiful shirt that said no spammy the pammy because that's what we say on tiktok um, I think he's also got another one that says you can't make this shit up. And of course, Nessa also sent that to me. So anyway, I want to welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome. Um, in honor of Hala who sent me this, I am going to pull, I'm going to pull two collective cards to start with. Of course, I'm going to use my very own Heart Rock deck. Okay. I need my heart stone card and phrase on a mug. I don't, you know what? I've got to go to Ziggy's page. I don't know exactly uh, what he's got. I need to go check it out. So anyway, so here's my heart rock deck, okay? I'm going to pull, uh, now if you guys are interested, I can't believe how many have sold. I still have a few left. I'm going to have to reorder at some point in time. So let me pull one card. And if these resonate with y'all, fine. If it doesn't... 
Now you understand. Perfect. Okay, so here's one card. And from the Sacred Rebels Oracle, let me pull a second card. It's so much calmer in here than it was than it is on TikTok. It can get it can get crazy, crazy, crazy. But I did that. Hello, welcome. But I I did that video on my client this morning because I was stunned. I mean, I'm not even gonna tell. Well, she was on the East Coast and she was having this live event, and then it's like I don't know why this lady tapped me on the shoulder and said. You need to find Pam Sears. You need to go follow her. <laughs> it is. It is better in here. Yes. How you doing, Selena? Welcome, welcome. Okay. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Okay. So here's the first one. Okay. Nature nature i don't know if it's backwards to you guys i really can't flip if i flip this you'll be looking at the at the wall um nature go outside and allow allow nature to recharge you i went out and i danced in the rain i think my dog looked and the neighbor was staring at me like okay she's whacked i'm whacked in a good way yeah my new hat that i bought in Old Town, Albuquerque. Thank you. I love it. Love it. Um, nature. So go out in nature. That's the first card. The second card is Pandora's Gift. We are to expect some surprises. Oh, you slept outside for a nap. I wouldn't have done that with the mosquitoes here. Pandora's Gift. You know, sometimes you'll say, ooh, what's in the box? If you are willing to open your mind and heart and soul and open Pandora's box, there's gifts. This is a very big sign for all of us. You literally just walked outside to watch my live. Can't make this shit up. Hello, everybody. Can't make this shit up. So Pandora's gift. Beautiful cards. Are you open? Are you open to allowing are you going to open up Pandora's box and see what gift awaits? Ah, you were thinking about going kayaking. I was supposed to have gone paddle boarding last Tuesday with a friend that came up from Phoenix. But we had a storm. Couldn't go out there in the lightning and thunder. Nope, no can do. So there we go. That is our collective cards. In just a little bit, I'm going to be pulling cards by age groups, okay? And uh, for those of you who are new here and maybe just found your way here, um, I am going to tune in in a minute and I'm going to see if we have any loved ones coming through. Now, guys, it's hard for me to scroll back on Facebook. Somehow, it, it it's weird. It just goes in its own direction. So we're going to have to just go slow here and um, see what happens, okay? Especially when I start giving the details, okay? we My mods are in here. See, every time I push up, it just goes right back down. So that's one of the reasons why I'm not here all the time because it makes it very frustrating for me, okay? Okay. Um, so... I want to welcome everybody. I'm going to try to post a few more things on the business page, but I'm mainly focusing, I'm really focusing on my YouTube. And let me ask you guys to do this. If you follow me on YouTube, there is a bell. You can click on the bell to get notified when I go live. I do welcome everybody. I try to go live Wednesdays right now on YouTube, five, six o'clock. Okay. I try to go on about five. I am close to a certain amount of watch hours that I need in order uh, to go into a new algorithm on YouTube. So what I would love, I have some of y'all that are that have an expert way of in the background, you can do a loop and loop my video so that's playing in the background. For those of you who have been doing that, thank you. I really appreciate that. I don't know exactly all what's going to happen when I reach that watch hours. I'm pretty excited. But, you know, everyone's been plugging away and helping. So I want to thank each and every one of you. Okay? Ah, it's so relaxing after I was out in the rain. 
so relaxing okay so I went and saw my grandson this weekend he's going to be a year old next month how did that happen oh good you will see me on YouTube good good okay uh, could I explain a bit about reincarnation so from what I understand and know um, we make these decisions about we're coming into earth we're going to do this we're, we 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 pre agree to certain things yes there's a lot of free will but we have a we determine how we're going to live that what the what's the family who's all going to be in our lives okay and we reincarnate with other soul families okay the soul wants to grow the soul wants to grow and so we and and believe it or not most of the souls they want to come back they want to come back oh it's it is getting cooler it is nice um you started following me when my grandson was born wow awesome so you guys can celebrate with me so we reincarnate with our soul families okay and there is karma that has been created in each lifetime good and not so good Okay. I know I was excited. Uh, he and I just love each other so much. Um, and so there's karma to be dealt with. And so if, if we didn't finish up something or we weren't happy about how we did a particular life lesson, hello, welcome. We go back and we say, oh, I want to try that again. I didn't get what I wanted. Then we choose to come back and we it's about reincarnation is about soul growth okay we are put on this earth to learn and grow okay it is sad sometimes we do choose to experience the passing of a child and sometimes that child many times the children have come through in a session and they say I wasn't meant to go past a certain time I was meant to be there for a short period to learn a lesson and when I got that I left so it is it's difficult but you know what um it's about the challenges and how we get past the challenges okay oh my gosh your oldest grandson is off to college my goodness why well, can't we remember past lives um you know i think in a way we do think about the dreams that you've had think about the dreams i've had dreams about areas that i'm like that was not of this time frame. You'll have deja vu, deja vu things. You'll have a specific era or area that you just adore. So there's bits and pieces, but we're here to learn something in this life. Sometimes something will carry over from a past life as a part of our karma and learning. Okay. The deja vus yes the deja vus so guys i don't mean to ignore anybody but when when i try to go back wow three months after he died you found out about your pregnancy with your son wow wow life is so full of mysteries Earth is one of the hardest planets to experience. That is correct. Absolutely, I agree with you. You know, I've heard so many people say, this is my last life. I don't think so. That, let me tell you this. From what I have heard from some of my spirits that pop in, there's a long line of people waiting to come to this earth. They can't wait to come to this earth to experience isn't that something isn't that something all right let me take a moment i we can do some more q a i just want to try to tune in and see if there is anyone uh coming through okay and if there is i will relay the information we will see who it belongs to you've dreamt of being in the same house over and over but i've never been in it in reality that could very well be from a past life Guys, remind me to talk about Dr. Michael Newton, okay, and his book, Journey of Souls. Journey of Souls, Dr. Michael Newton. 
That'll rock your world. Okay. Yeah, I think somebody's trying to pop in, okay? You can listen to it on... I didn't know you could listen to it on YouTube. Awesome, Selena. See, we do have little glimpses of a past life or lessons. Um, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I'm not getting a lot right now, but I do have someone. So let me see what ways can spirit communicate with you. Uh, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Um, I I have all the clairs, clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairsentient, clair you know auditory. So I they can I can you know I can see them in my mind's eye. Uh, when they talk to me, it's like a typewriter going through my brain. Uh, I can sense them and their personalities. If they're, sometimes I will smell smells that are connected to them. Um, there's lots of different ways that they communicate. Welcome, welcome everybody. Okay. Okay. I I want to talk. There, there's a there's a boy. Uh, I wrote down boy and the word cousin. Um, so this is telling me there's a young boy. Uh, now I don't know exactly how old. Um, oh, that's cool, Tina. I've had some regressions. I have, and I've seen some of my own visions of my past lives. I do have a loved one here. This is a boy. And I heard the word cousin. So this would either be maybe your cousin or a cousin of somebody. Um, he passed quickly and tragically. Um, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. He has given me this information, and I'm going to give it. Now, you guys do have to take every single detail, okay? Um, for some reason, I feel like... This boy might have passed from water because I was also shown water sports. Water sports, he mentions. Doesn't mean that's how he passed, but he's showing me water sports. He is showing me uh, the number four is significant. Four could be April. Uh, he said the word three kids, three kids. He is showing me a bunch of balloons. So either... You guys release balloons in his honor or somebody's birthday is coming around. Okay. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. So we have the, and there's three kids. Now he might have been one of three. You might be one of three. Um, I have an H name being connected. I have a C like Charles name connected. And I have an R O name connected. Okay. There's also a number three, which could be March. Three is could be March or three is somebody's birthday anniversary. I also saw the number two. Number two could be February. And then I saw September as being significant. I do feel that he might have been possibly even teenager age. It's really hard for me to determine ages. I just know that he was a younger boy. Okay, so I'm going to give the information one more time. If no one can claim it here, uh, I will be uploading this to my YouTube uh, as soon as it downloads to my computer and someone who needs to receive the message will find it. That happens all the time. So this is a younger boy. 
I hear the word cousin. Oh, I just don't know why Facebook does that. It doesn't let me keep, it just, it's frustrating. A young boy, he said the word cousin. Uh, my son brother drowned it when he was five. Ashley, I don't understand. Um, their father, my son brother drowned when he was five with their father, Chris. Wow. Okay, you guys are going a little fast. Slow it down here. But hang on. I, it's hard to read everybody's comments here. So if you guys... Now, don't comment unless you can take every single detail. That makes it easier for me to figure out who this belongs to. If you can only take one or two things or even three, that means um, that it's a postcard. I'm not directly connecting you to your loved one. However, your loved ones pop in and give you what I call flyby messages, okay? Um, I have an H name. I wasn't sure if it was Howard or not, but I have an H name. Uh, guys, slow it down, please. Can you slow it down? I can't scroll back as easy on Facebook. I have... Th I don't really get last names. Usually the H has got to be a first name. It's very rare that they give me last names, okay? Um, okay, don't, let me, let, me, let me do this. If you can take everything, and I mean everything, give it to me in, in a comment all at once. That'll make it easier for me to figure out who this belongs to. And my mods are in here, so I'm not sure. Mods, can you help me out, okay? Well, it's got to be more. Yeah, it's got to be more. Got to be a. It's got to be all of it. You have to take every one of these details for this to be your loved one. That's how it works. Okay. So, is there someone in here that has taken everything? Okay, I'm gonna give the information one more time. I want to be able to get through here. Um, you know, closest is one thing. Uh. Okay, so it could be postcards. This could be postcards, okay? Let me, this is a young boy. He says the word cousin. Uh, he did pass tragically, unexpected, okay? Uh, uh, he has given me the number four as being significant. Four could also be April. The number three, which could also be March. Three kids. He showed me balloons. It's either somebody's birthday coming up or you guys released balloons. Okay. Um, he's showing me water sports. So I didn't know if he passed or something having to do with water. There is an H like Harry. C like Charles. R-O name. Uh, there is a number two, which could also be February. And then September. Now September is the ninth month. So, um... Well, we more got to take more than five. You got to take it all, okay? If you take five details, that's still beautiful postcards, okay? So it's got to be, got to take it all. Yeah, it's rare for, for me to get last names. It's normally first names, okay? Oh, thank you, April. I, I assume you're helping. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if any of my mods are in here. Uh, three kids. Mary Lou, did you got to take every single one. Who has taken every single one of these details? Yeah, thank you for helping. I don't know, if Papa, if, if Paul and Lisa are still in here or not. Some of my mods do try to pop in to help from TikTok. Um, but I might be on my own. They might have had to leave.
Oh, I just said the details again. I just said them. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I just relayed the details for the third time. So, let me look. Let me look. See who this might belong to. Okay, slow it down for a minute. It's going too fast. Who's the one that had the cystic fibrosis? You on TikTok, huh? They don't let me do mods on Facebook. Um, who's the one that the the child passed on the cystic fibrosis? Okay, Stacy, thank you. Stacy, I feel strongly that this is for you. Stacy, can you please give me consent? Mary Lou, this could very well be for you as well. Did you take everything else? Did you take everything? Stacy, just give me consent. Yeah, Stacy has all the details. Thank you guys. So, Stacy, please give me consent. Mary Lou. Um, gotcha. Thank you. Thank you guys for helping. Okay. You give consent. Thank you. Now, Stacy, talk to me in all caps. Now, Mary Lou, if you didn't take every single detail, this could be large postcards for you. So hang on just a minute. Okay. Um, so who's the one of three, Stacy? Are you the one of three or is this boy the one of three? And why is he telling me cousin? Okay. And there's somebody, there is, there's a, a female that is feeling a lot of guilt in regards to his passing. Okay. A lot of guilt. Lots of postcards then, Chandra. Lots and lots. And y'all, if you feel that this is your loved one, just sit back and listen. Okay. I'm going to go ahead at this point. Um, Mary Lou, go ahead and give me consent, please. This is we, we have a piggyback situation going on here. Okay. That means for those of you who don't know what a piggyback is, that means more than one person is taking these details and they each have their own loved one coming through. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Who else, April, did you say? Okay. Thank you, guys. All right. So I have two of you. Both of you talk to me in all caps. Is there one more person, April? Um, okay. All right, here we go. There's there the guilt is eating this person alive. Okay. Okay. This little spirit. Well, there it's a very old spirit, but I'm just saying when he passed, he wants her to let go of the guilt. Do you understand that? Welcome. If you've just come in, I have a spirit coming through. We have two people that are taking it, so we have a piggyback situation. Okay, uh, Stacy, did I see your response? Yes. Is this in regards to the guilt? Thank you, April. I appreciate your help. Thank you. April, you should try to send me a message on uh, Instagram or TikTok or um, you know, I, I may have a few openings on my TikTok for mods. I'm just being cautious of who I make a mod just because. So, um, yes, Stacy, really important, really important. Now he's doing this with his hand and there's a little bird and it's blue. It's, it's blue. Now I'm going to do my best to, uh, 
upload this to my computer and put it into my YouTube uh, for today's date. Unless there's a technical issue, it will be on my YouTube for her to go back and watch. He's got his hand like this, and it's a little bluebird. Now, I don't know if there's a ceramic bluebird. I don't know if there's a bird that might have been put on an urn or something having to do with that. Or she saw a bluebird coming to her. He has this little blue. It's so cute. He has this bluebird in his hand. Okay? So, if she's seen a bluebird... Or if there's something, maybe someone gave her a bluebird after he passed. I don't know. But he's showing this little bluebird in the hand. If she's seen a bluebird, guess who that is? Yeah, that's him. Um, how sweet. He's, he's doing this and it's, he's, I think he's been messing with some lights. You know, like a light switch. Well, ask her if, if there's anything about the light switch or some kind of flickering. Because when I, when I see this, okay, there's something about, tells me a light switch or flickering or something, okay? Um, lots of you are getting beautiful postcards, so thank you for hanging on and waiting. Um, okay, so everyone, please, if, if you're not Stacy or Mary Lou, please hold your comments, Okay. Uh, I wonder if when he said cousin, if my baby is with him. Ah, Stacy, you know what? There you go. That's a beautiful validation for you because he's the one that said cousin. He said cousin. Okay. So, fam yes, family are with family. Okay. Lots of postcards for the rest of you. So, he, okay. Can I ask if someone also lost the dog? Lots of postcards for the rest of you. Lots and lots of postcards. It, you're close, but just know that you have some beautiful postcards. Um, so please, if you're not Stacy or Mary Lou, just honor the messages and the postcards that you're getting from your loved ones okay the dog the dog this young boy has a dog my friend just lost the dog that i gave them okay dogs do not cross over along oh my god my parents dog died a month after my husband and the mis they ha the dog is there. The dog is there. Okay. Um what is are are you are you are you thinking of a school, a class, a course? He's talking about learning something new. Do you understand why he would be saying that? Interesting. Okay. There are three males standing together. One, two, three. There's the young boy, there's an older person, and then there's a younger one. So there are three males there together. Okay. You are being encouraged, Stacy, to follow that dream. Thank you for validating. You're being encouraged to follow that dream. So there's three boys right there. So, yes. Okay, is there an E, Eric? I'm following my spiritual path. Good, thank you, Mary Lou. Who's got the E name? E. Stacy, my husband and his father. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the E name. Ina is your grandma. Is your grandma still alive? I have a cousin named Eric. Okay, so Mary Lou, the cousin for you, that may that may go along with you. Okay, so um, yeah, is your grandma still? A, hello, Carla. I'm right in the middle. Come in and hang out. I've got a loved one here. Um, Okay, who's, no, she has passed. Okay, you have some family popping in here, okay?
okay it's so awesome to see now why am i showing being shown you have a lot of energy both of you have a lot of energy i'm sh being shown a pan of biscuits a pan a pan of biscuits big pan of biscuits and i know it looks weird but i i, I it's it's like i see sausage with it a pan of biscuits and there's sausage why i don't know what that is so welcome everybody welcome welcome i'm right in the middle of relaying a message from uh we have two people that are piggybacking off of each other um a pan of biscuits and then i see sausage what the heck is that if it's not sausage, I, it's something. My oh, my husband loved biscuits and gravy. He always made it perfect. Okay, there we go. I saw biscuits and then I saw sausage, and I'm like, oh, don't do that. Don't say that. I'm not going to repeat that in here. <laughs> okay, so you had pigs in a blanket, Mary Lou. Okay, but Stacy took the biscuits and then the sausage. Um, Thank you for the help, April. Really appreciate it. Okay. Now, there's somebody... Just a second. Okay. So, when I talked about the boy that died tragically, there's also... the There's, a, there's the old... The, the Not older. There's a grown adult... That also passed from an accident. Is that yours, Stacy? Yes, sausage and gravy. Perfect. Okay. Um, th this adult male is talking about the accident. So, Stacy, I, I, I wasn't sure. I know you said you lost your husband. Is that correct? I just want to make sure that I get that correct. He says accident. Adult male that is with the other two. The older male that he is with, the older male, said that he had heart issues. Or, well, he's pointing right here. The older male. Do you understand that? The older male, which might be a grandfather. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Who had an accident? Okay. But... This is so confusing. Do you have this, this adult male that said accident, and then the male next to him said he had the chest, the heart attack. So maybe I'm confusing these males, okay? Someone had a heart attack. Thank you for that validation. He was 50. Okay, that would be older. Thank you. Okay, but somebody had an accident, Stacy or Mary Lou one of you okay guys hold your comments thank you um i want to finish this reading because it's getting a little complicated so everybody just sit tight who had the accident now it could be somebody on earth that had an accident and i'm talking to stacy and mary lou okay My husband's BFF is there that got hit by a car. Okay. Whew. All right. He's talking about the accident. You've got a few people hanging out here. My niece's husband. Okay. Both of you have validated that. Perfect. Okay. Talking about the accident. Okay. Um, okay. Here's a message. Here is a message. Man, the energies. You can't do it all. You can't do it all. This is for Stacy and Mary Lou. Lots of postcards for the rest of you. He's saying you can't do it all. Let something go. Do you understand that message? <clears throat> can't do it all let something go prioritize he says prioritize that's a message for you right now prioritize well thank you guys for the stars very kind of you 
prioritize. You can't do it all. It's like you're spinning your wheels, trying to do it, make everybody happy, do everything. This is kind of what he's doing. You're spinning your wheels. Do you understand that? Okay. Thank you, Mary Lou. Don't tell me to shut up. That's so funny. Shut up. I've been trying to do it since he passed. Okay. And Mary Lou, yes, you've let a lot go. He's like, you know, I mean, you're like you're spinning your wheels. You can't do it all. Okay? Let something go. Prioritize. He wants you to have more joy in your life. More joy. Some beautiful postcards for you guys. Beautiful postcards for the rest of you. He wants you to have more joy, more fun. Okay? Remember the fun we had, is what he said. Remember that. Don't stop having fun. And what he's saying is the fact that you are just trying to do it all, you're, you're losing out on some really important fun. Okay? You guys are welcome for the postcards. That's one of the reasons why he came through. Let me ask you this. Did he once in a while smoke cigars? Did he once in a while smoke cigars? Yes, he's very much okay. Very much okay. You've been asking for your joy, then you know what? Then pay attention and listen. He wants you to have more joy. Is there somebody that um, used to play baseball? What's interesting is when you're worried about if people made it okay, he's talking about a home run. He was a heavy cigar smoker because I'm smelling cigars. Thank you. I'm smelling cigars. That, okay. Okay. Remember that, Stacy. when he's around you, sometimes you're not sure. It's a quick whiff of a cigar smoke. He's there with you. But I smell the cigars right now, okay? You're welcome, Chandra. You're welcome. Baseball. Somebody slid in to the other side and went to home base. Home run. Now, I don't know why he's using that terminology of baseball, but it's like, you know, whoops. You slide into home base. He's like, some somebody slid in. Yes, okay. But who was the, sig the, the heavy? Who said somebody? Cigar. Yes, Stacy, cigar. Not, not cigarette. Oh, you said cigarette, whatever. I was still smelling the smell of a cigar. I'm sorry, that's okay. I'm still smelling that. It smells like that. I don't know if he had a particular type of smoke that he smoked that smelled like that. You said he was a heavy smoker. I'm, I'm smelling something that would be lingering more on cigar smoke, but anyway, you know when he's around, okay? Hello, welcome, welcome. Um, so, but the, the baseball is important. The baseball is important. Somehow a sports connection. Either somebody loved uh, watching baseball or played baseball, but he's wanting everything you said, is he okay? Slid right into home base, okay? But to me, I'm just telling you it smells more like cigars, but that's okay. He must have smoked some cigarettes that were pretty powerful stuff. Then. <laughs> just saying. Okay. Okay. Big movie buff. Big movie buff. I have a loved one that's, uh, I've already, I'm right in the middle of a loved one giving messages. A uh, big movie buff, and he t he's giving me Arnold Schwarzenegger. Big movie buff, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. When I am done with this session, I will be pulling cards by age groups, okay? 
Big movie buff, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Unless you just watched a big Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, I don't know. Welcome to all the new people as well as my regular followers. Welcome, welcome. So, something about Arnold Schwarzenegger, unless somebody's named Arnold. I never know when they come through with messages. That's kind of how it happens, okay? All right, let's see if he has anything else to say. Not sure about Arnold. So there might be something about the name Arnold. Uh, write it down uh, that it might be something, you know, an Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, movie. Um, or it could be, I don't, you know what, did he golf? I'm just saying Arnold Palmer golfed. But this, he showed me Arnold Schwarzenegger's face. Okay. And so this is definitely, in my opinion, about Arnold Schwarzenegger. Write it down. It may resonate with somebody. Somebody in the family may have just watched an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Okay. All right. Let me see what else he's got to say. You just watched Kindergarten Cop. That's funny. Chandra, some beautiful postcard messages for you. Okay, uh, he loved golfing. Okay, I'll write it down. Okay, you know, I'm just saying sometimes they have ways of coming through that, you know, the, he showed me Arnold Schwarzenegger and it was like, but then he did say movie buff. I saw Arnold Schwarzenegger's name. If he loved golfing, that might very well be Arnold, who was the golfer. You know what I mean? How they come through with, they come through with the weirdest ways. Anyway, I'm going to leave that part with you. Um, did he pass in the middle of the week? I'm hearing him say during the week. During the week. Just so you guys know, I just, I had to write all this stuff down. As soon as it comes out of my mouth, I forget it, okay? Something about during the week. And I have learned never to hold back. On anything no matter what even if it's wrong yes he did okay there you go that's a validation that he passed during the week a Tuesday okay thank you for that validation um, Let me ask you, hi, welcome, welcome. Let me ask you, was there, was there a lot of repairs that had to be done to the half, the, to the house? Were there a lot of repairs? It's funny because I just went to his grave to honor him. Awesome, Mary Lou, awesome. Did you go during the week, Mary Lou? There's two of you here that are piggybacking. Um, was there some kind of repairs that needed to be done to the house? Thank you for the help, April. Was a weekday, Chandra? Okay. Thank you guys for holding your comments and being respectful. I want to finish this session. Yes, you did. Okay. Both of you validated that. Thank you. Um, something about repairs. Repairs? Yes, before I sold it after he died. He's like, he's like, huh. <laughs> Honey, you, you did the repairs. You did the repairs. Perfect. Thank you for validating that. <laughs> Honey, you did the repairs. Like, whew. sorry he left you with such a... Okay. Okay. He's, he's saying how proud that he is of you because he's, he's got you standing straight up. Straight up, you're standing on your own two feet. And he's proud of you for that because you had to do it all by yourself. She had to do it all by herself. Still, you need to go out and have some more fun. Do you understand that? 
Remember? Remember what he said before? But you had to do it all by yourself, and he's proud of you. I'm not saying you physically did the repairs. You had to orchestrate everything, okay? But if you did all the repairs yourself, bless your heart, okay? Mary Lou, yes, you did. Okay, thank you. He wanted to make sure that you heard the message about having go back to the joy and having fun and letting go of some things you can't do it all. That was his main message to coming through. Um, you know, sweetheart, you love him. You miss him. Thank him for me. He can hear you. You don't need me or any other medium to connect with your loved ones. He hears you, Stacy. He's hearing you right now. He knows that you love him and miss him. You don't need me to repeat that. You talk to him. He, he hears you all the time. Okay? Okay. Yeah, you guys, you talk to your loved ones. You don't need me and you don't need anyone else. Thank you, Carla. You don't need me or anyone else. They hear you. Now, pay attention, you know, when you're talking to them. Uh, pay attention that, um, that, that when you may, like, like I said, this, the smoke that to me felt heavy like a cigar smoke. You said he was a heavy cigar, cigarette smoker. So um, pay attention when you're talking to them because they're going to give you signs and, and answers. Ask them to bring you something specific, okay? Ask for something specific, okay? The lagging does happen. Lagging happens here on Facebook. Go figure. I don't know why that happens. But I do want to thank Stacy and Mary Lou for coming in. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it's hot, sticky, and we had a... A storm come through so and then I went out and danced in the rain so I just left my hair uh, curly uh, thank good it's goodness it's gotten curlier as I've gotten older so I want to thank the two of you for coming in I will do my darndest to this is this July 25th so the, I always call these Monday musings thank you guys for the stars uh, bell my other mod hello welcome so I call these Monday musings, and I will do my darndest to upload it tonight as quick as I can to my computer and then put it on my YouTube, okay? So, Stacy, that way any of the family can go and watch. If there's technical issues, let's just pray there's no technical issues, okay? Some of you got beautiful postcards, beautiful. Now, I'm going to get a swig. There, some of it, the way they were coming through, sometimes it gets a little confusing, but we figured it out. Thank you guys for being patient. Okay. Now, I have a new deck. Whew. April has been wonderful. April, thank you so much. You you are an awesome mod. April, you can back me up anytime. Um, you want to be a mod here on... There, I, I can't really do, you know, mods with names. I just get help from people. And so you can be a helper. Um, you know, if you follow me on TikTok, um, you know, I think I have a couple of opening for mods. Um... You know, so maybe we can communicate. Um, or do you follow me on Instagram, April? You can send me a message there. So you are you are a big help tonight. Thank you. And Belle, I'm glad to see you popping in. I decided to kind of do a Facebook because I haven't been here for a while. So, whoo! All right. Here are some cards by age groups. You're not there often? Okay. Um, but that's okay. Well, you know, you can help out here and there. Okay. Uh, all right. So this is my new deck. Bal, it's good to see you, my sweet. The Dreamer's Journey. Um, Allison Williams G, this is her fourth deck. Her fourth deck. 
Um, I am going to pull by age groups with this new, it's, it's a little, of course you're more than, Trinity, good to see you, seems like it's been forever since I've seen you, Trinity, I was just talking about I was supposed to go paddle boarding, but we had a storm and we had another one come through today. Okay, so everyone, this is all spirit guided in my lives. It's all spirit guided. I don't pick and choose. Okay. Uh, who was the author of the book? Oh, thank you for that. All right, let me talk about it. Dr. Michael Newton wrote three books. The first one is Journey. Well, he wrote lots of books, but in regards to this particular subject, it's called Journey of Souls. Welcome, everybody. Journey of Souls. That's his first book. Second book is Destiny of Souls. Doctor, and you can, it's on Audible. Somebody said you can hear it on YouTube. Dr. Michael Newton was a hypnotherapist that thought he was taking people back to past lives. Okay. He did thousands of these before he, uh, he uh, published because it was like, nobody's going to believe me. He took people to the other side where they met their counsel during a hypnotic session. They met their counsel. They got to go over there and talk to their counsel. <laughs> they got a lot of input when they were there, okay? And um, they were able to get answers. There we go. Thank you, April, Dr. Michael Newton, Journey of Souls. Uh, now, let me share something that has been these these souls came and, and told Dr. Newton that, and this is, pay attention to this. When we decide that we're going to come to earth, we make the decision. We decide, okay, I'm going to do this and that, and I'm going to connect with that person and that person. Then we decide how much of our spirit is going to go into that body. Think about it. The, I call them meat suits. These meat suits are not strong enough to handle the entire soul. They would explode. I'm serious. This is, I knew this was all true when it came through from the book. So what happens is you pick the life that you want to pick. And then, you, I know I've read them over and over myself. So you pick the percentage of your soul. Okay. What happens is, where's the rest of our soul? If there's a percentage that's our higher self. Big hugs to anyone who needs healing energy. Um, I'm. This whole life has been flooded with healing energy. Okay? Okay? For those of you who need some healing, it's all here in the life. Soak it up. Okay? So anyway, so that's our higher self. You're talking to yourself. That's why it's so important. Listen to internal. That's us. These people, I kid you not, when they went to the other side to meet their counsel, some of them got the opportunity to see themselves on the other side. I'm telling you, incredible, incredible book. Okay? And here's a quick, um, hey, there's a line of, of souls wanting to come to earth. I, I guarantee you. Okay? So guys, I've always, I always flood the live with the healing energy. So it's here, it's available, soak it up. Um, now, here's a quick story from Dr. Michael Newton's book, okay? This is really important. There was a young widow who couldn't, um, she didn't want to live anymore because her young husband passed. She was a young, young widow. She wanted to unalive herself. Um, and so, um, you listen to yourself always. You don't need a medium. You listen to yourself always. Anyway, someone convinced her to go listen to go to Dr. Michael Newton. He took her back to her counsel. Check this out. The counsel said very lovingly, non-judgmental, how many times do you want to do this? And she said, I, I don't understand. And the council, because we all have our own council, said, you and your soulmate have chosen many lifetimes. So, and he has chosen to pass early so that you could learn 
to stand on your own two feet and live on your own. Every lifetime you have chosen to end your earthly journey. So our question is, and we don't care, it's your choice, it's your soul. How many times do you want to do this? And man, when she came out of that hypnotherapy session, she's like, I don't want to do this again. I, I, let's get through this. See? Very important stuff, okay? Yeah, always listen to yourself. You guys, you know what? Some people say, oh, I, got, I, I, have, to ha I have to go to a medium. No, you don't. You don't have to go to a medium. You can listen to your own self, okay? Uh, many, many times people will come through. They want a session because they have some unresolved uh, pain or that they, they just need some confirmation and some comfort. But, I mean, tell me. You don't need me. You don't need anyone else. So, anyway, Dr. Michael Newton, Journey of Souls, I swear. Oh, I'm saying if you're a medium, do we listen to ourselves or your angels and guides? Uh, it's a little bit of everything. We have angels, we have guides, and we have our higher self. Our higher self is the most important. Now, our guides and our angels can't step in. They, they can't interfere unless we ask for help. They're there. They're helping us. They are giving us some guidance. But they can't interfere. But if we sit there and say, oh, please help. And they're like, ah, we can do that. I always tune in and I know I listen to my higher self. Sometimes it's about the guides and I talk to the guides. Okay? Sorry if I misunderstood your question. All right. All right, here we go. If you are 18 to 30, this is your card. Okay? Here we go. If this is not your age group, but you connect to this a to this to this card take it i mean i've connected to all four cards before okay was it 1 11 11 when you said listen to your higher self no way really how do you know that sylvia how do you know that omg did you watch it on here because i can't see a clock on here that's incredible. I'm going to try to... Good. I did a screenshot of that. Okay. 18 to 30. Here we go. Transition. Transition. Yes, it was 1 hour, 11 minutes, 11 seconds. Wow. No, I can't see that. But I screenshotted that one too. Wow. Thank you. Incredible. All right. 18 to 30 transition. Natural progression of change, realignment, release. Recording length, not time. Oh, okay. Thank you, Trinity. Got it. Got it. Wow. That's incredible. No, I can't see that here. I, I don't have an opportunity to see that. Can't make this shit up. That is a perfect validation. When you ask, do we listen to our guides? And you listen to your higher self. All right. So transition. You're in transition. 18 to 30. Okay. I can't turn this screen around. Like, And make sure you guys go watch that video that I posted on my business page. I put it on Instagram. I put it on TikTok. I'm telling you, I'll share it again at the end here. I'll, I'll tell you what happened on, with my client today. So you're in transition. Natural progression of change, realignment, release. Okay? If you are 31 to 50, this is your card. Trinity, I hope you enjoyed your weekend. When are you going to come back up and see me? I may not go to the well tomorrow. We're headed for another storm and flash flood watch. Now, there is some washes there that we have to go through to get to the well. So if I wake up and it's pouring rain, I'm not even going to attempt. Nope. All right. 31 to 50. Here we go. Resilience. Resilience. How do you listen to your higher self? You ask and then you sit quiet. Journaling is another way, as soon as the weather clears. Okay, awesome. 
Um, I, I ask for signs and messages. I ask specifically, hey, I want to answer. Can you give me an in my face sign and then get out of the way and just be open? You guys need it? Man, we need it here too. So 31 to 50, you are resilient. Look at how strong this tree is. Look at that. Even though the wind is blowing around it, it says determination, strength, and character. You are resilient. You are to honor that resilience. You have not given up. You have stayed strong. And sometimes when we go through that phase of, I feel weak, you're not weak. You're not weak. You are resilient. Send it down there. Carla, I left Phoenix yesterday to come back up here. And I thought y'all were going to get some rain down there, but... I don't know. All right, 51 to 70, this is your card. Yeah, I like to ask my guides and angels and higher self, please bring me a specific in my face sign. Ah, there you, oh, wow, the last equine therapy tomorrow and a cold plunge. Trinity, then you needed that card. See? Got to listen up. Hey, next time when you girls come, bring the girls and we'll do paddle, uh, paddling and I'll bring my cards and everybody will get cards. Wouldn't that be fun? All right. 51 to 70. My, whoop, the bottom card. Y'all, I've gotten this card I don't know how many times and it's like, I don't understand. I don't understand. Welcome, everybody. Overwhelm. This is for our age group, 51 to 70. Bottom card. Inner turmoil, stress. Nurture your energy. That will be a blast. I'll bring my cards. Overwhelm. Inner turmoil, stress. Nurture your energy. So, you know, what I've been trying to do when I am done, I've been doing a lot of lives, um, I've been doing, you know, my YouTube lives. Make sure you guys follow me on YouTube. I'll be live on there on Wednesday, five or six, and my lives on Instagram. And what I've been finding is that afterwards, I need to do the walk. I need to go out and do the walk. So we are overwhelmed, inner turmoil, stress. We need to nurture our energy. You can relate, need to do inner child work. You know, that's what I figured out. I've been having some... Um, dreams about my children when they were little. I'm starting to figure out it's about me, not my kids. I don't, I don't feel overwhelmed in a bad way, but I may be overwhelmed with just all of these changes that are going on with me because there's a lot of changes. Thank you. Thank you, Leslie. Those are very kind words. All right. Now, the last card is 71 all the way up. And I'm going to, I got to do it. Got to do it. The oldest living person is Sister Andre. She is 118. 118, Sister Andre. You know why she's 118? Because she's been single her whole life. There, I said it. <laughs> I said what I said. Hey, for those of you that follow me on my personal Facebook page, I've also uploaded that, that video. Trinity, I want you to see that, okay? It's here. It's on my personal page. <laughs> 118. Okay, so this card, <laughs> this card is for 71 all the way up to Sister Andre. Bless her heart upheaval upheaval unexpected liberation destruction of established patterns okay this is this is a good upheaval this <laughs> hey it's true 118 because she's been single her whole freaking life upheaval i know some of the men were like that's not very nice <laughs> oh well i said what i said upheaval Unexpected liberation, okay? Something's coming down for y'all. 
something is coming down for y'all so anyway let me that's the cards i'm gonna in a, in just a bit i am gonna pull a final collective card for everyone um for the week so that you can work on something for the week um so yes this this for those of you who are here and, and weren't here earlier i had a uh i did the video i had a client i always ask how did you find me um she was true to her duties as a nun yeah single all the way that's right <laughs> um so my client i always ask my clients how did you find me and she said you know it's kind of funny i was at a, a live psychic event and there was a lady behind me and she <laughs> tapped me on the shoulder and said hey you know there's a psychic medium named pam sears and i think that you should follow her find her because I had a session with her and, and she's awesome. And this lady found me on TikTok. She started following me, apparently. Some of the message I gave on TikTok, she got some quick little flyby messages, made an appointment with me. It was a fabulous session for her. And I'm like, way east, she goes into this huge psychic event. Some lady taps her. I don't know who the lady is. I, I don't know. And of course, I'm not going to share who the psychic was because that's, that's rude. Um, but is that something? The universe works in mysterious ways. <laughs> so the universe is talking to that lady like, here y'all at this event, tell this lady to go see Pam. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, y'all, y'all. Okay. Um, I don't feel that there's another, I didn't find you, you found me for sure, just when I needed you years ago. I agree. We found each other, Trinity. The universe made it happen. Woo! Whew! I got some thump heart thumping going on with that. Woo! Can't make this shit up. All right, so I don't have anyone else coming in. Um, I'm going to go uh, feed my dog. I don't know if I'm going to go on TikTok tonight. Um, I don't know. Probably not. I'm probably going to go take a walk. Um, and her name is Trinity. Yeah? Oh, really? T Tina, her name is Trinity. So, let's do this. Oh, thank you, Linda. Oh, you found me on here by accident. Linda, honey, there's no accidents. There's no accidents. Never. So from my Heart Rock Oracle cards. And Trinity, you have my deck. I'm going to do a card for the week right now. Let me shuffle. I'm going to use my very own Heart Rock deck. Oh, you found me because of Matthew. Oh, I love Matthew. Oh, I love him. Thank you, Paulo. So here we go. Here's a final collective card. Um, let's focus on the week. Whatever the message is, I'm going to shuffle. What do we want to know for the week? Let's see what happens, okay? Here we go. Motivation. Wait till you see what the message is on the back. Here's a card. Motivation. On the back, you are being given support to follow your dreams. You are being given support to follow your dreams. It's there, it's available. That's what's happening, okay? You know, sometimes we'll sit there and go, ooh, that was an interesting inspiration. I wonder where that came. You know where it came from from your higher self, guides, angels, even loved ones. You are being given support to follow your dreams. Honor that, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. I love you. I'm thankful for each and every one of you. Oh, wait, before I forget, look. I went to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Look, my beautiful friend, Psychic Samantha Marie, who owns her own shop, she, I've, I've always wanted a skull. She made me this beautiful skull with amethyst and blue agate and copper. 
Look at that. And let me show you one more gift that came. It's good to see you all. I have a, a, a gentleman in Canada who is, he calls himself the upcycler. He makes, he's an artist. I helped him and look what he made me. It came in the mail. Look at this. He, he made the heart with these golden wings and then he uses a lot of forks and utensils and things and oh, let me put this back together correctly whenever I do this I never put it back correctly hang on hang on here we go he sent he made this for me came in the mail all the way from Canada he made me I don't wear a lot of rings but he made me from this is from a fork and then this is from a spoon so he made me these rings he's like you helped me so much let me make something for you so how awesome is that anyway all right y'all Thank you for being here, uh, Trinity. Let's hope the weather clears up because I want to be on the water. Um, thank you for trusting in me. I will do my best uh, for Stacy and Mary Lou to get this downloaded to my computer and uploaded to my YouTube. Uh, go, Dave. That, thank you, Belle. Dave at the Upcycler on TikTok. If you guys are not following him, follow him. Okay. Yeah, they were popular in the 80s. Um, so anyway, thank you all for being here. I love you. I'm, I'm not going to be here every single Monday, but I'm going to do my best when I feel guided to come on here. I love you all. Good night. <laughs>